After months of teasing, Nothing's Phone 2 has a launch date we knew that the Nothing Phone 2 would arrive next month, and now we have a precise date, July 11th, a day shy of the Phone 1's first birthday. It'll include a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset and a bigger battery, and it will launch in the US this time. We know all of this because Nothing has said so in a series of spec teasers, a tactic that founder Carl Pei loved to employ at the last company he helped found, OnePlus. Based on a teaser image accompanying today's news, the Phone 2 looks like it will continue to offer the glyph notification lights featured on the back of the Phone 1. On that device, they're partly a style flourish and partly practical since they can indicate different types of incoming notifications by flashing in different patterns. Underneath the blinky lights, the Phone 1 was a good mid-range phone that only sort of launched in the US. Related Nothing Phone 1 Review, Something Else That's set to change with the Phone 2, which Pei says will launch here later this year. When it does, nothing will have its work cut out for it. The US Android market is dominated by Samsung, leaving Google, Motorola, and everyone else to fight over the scraps. Although the Phone 2 will look undeniably different, at least from the back, which could serve as an advantage if it winds up on carriers' retail shelves next to Galaxy and Pixel phones. Still, it's going to need much more than just a light show to compete with those established players, and we'll find out on July 11th exactly what the Phone 2 will bring to the table. If you want to watch along at home, you can tune in at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Nothing.Tech to see for yourself. Nothing Phone 2 launch date is officially out. Nothing has been dropping little details about its second smartphone, the Phone, too, for a while now, leading up to escalated excitement. And to fuel this, we now have the official launch date of the Nothing Phone, too, set for next month. Have a look at the details below. This is when the Nothing Phone, too, is launching. Nothing, via a recent tweet, has revealed that the Phone, too, will launch on July 11th globally. This will be an online event and will take place at 8.30 p.m. IST. The event will be live-streamed by a nothing.tech. The tweet showcases the back panel of the device, which will include the interesting concept of the glyph interface, enabled via numerous LED lights. This also confirms the recently leaked phone, too, renders, which showcased small strips of LED lights around the rear camera hump and the wireless charging coil area, instead of continuous ones. It will look a lot like the phone, one, except for a few tweaks. As for the specs, we already know a few details. For example, the phone will come with a bigger 6.7-inch display, most likely an AMOLED one with a high 120Hz refresh rate. A bigger 4,700 mAh battery will also be there. The phone, too, will also be powered by the high-end Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset. Plus, it will be focused on sustainability with a reduced carbon footprint of 53.45 kg, which is 8.6% lower than its predecessor. And plastic packaging. It will also be made in India and will include Nothing OS 2.0 based on Android 13, which is said to center around minimalism. You can also expect 50MP triple rear cameras with OIS support, dual stereo speakers, and possible support for satellite communication. The price could be under 40,000 rupees, but Nothing is concrete for now. For proper details on the Nothing phone, too, it will be best to wait until the launch, which is now a few days away. Stay tuned for all the updates you need and do let us know if you are excited about the launch in the comments below. The next phone from Nothing is coming soon, and this time it's coming to the US. I talked to the company's co-founder, Carl Pei, about the Nothing phone, too. Speaking from New York, Pei began by addressing the fact that making a smartphone is not for the faint-hearted. The smartphone industry is undoubtedly one of the most challenging in the world. We have witnessed numerous established companies failing, while startups in this space often never get to launch a second-generation product. He's right. I've seen strong brands give up, even if they have had success with earlier models. 
Amazon, LG, HTC, and older players like Siemens no longer make smartphones. So, for nothing to enter the market last year was brave. Of course, Pay has history with phones, having been a co-founder of OnePlus. But even so, Pay previously told me in an extensive interview that things were challenging at the start, and that this year, the company has been able to significantly improve the components or suppliers it's used. Since Phone 1, nothing is believed to have come on leaps and bounds in terms of engineering and processes. Pay explains why he thinks nothing is in with a chance, with nothing, we want to bring a sense of excitement back to the industry by making great products that feel special, different, and fun. With Phone 1, we successfully entered the smartphone market and proved that there was an appetite for such a new alternative, especially among younger users. The first phone got off to a good start, selling close to 750,000 phones, believed to be about half the number of the first-gen iPhones sold. And Pay regularly uses the iPhone as a yardstick. Apple is continuously gaining ground over Android, and there isn't a real exciting alternative out there right now, especially for the younger generation. One reason for the comparison is that nothing, the company claims, has one of the highest rates of people switching from iOS to Android. Nothing says it's between three and four times the average across some markets. Pay says, we have experienced tremendous excitement and support from day one in the market, particularly from the creative community. This is especially encouraging since winning over the creative community can be one of the toughest challenges. Pay goes on, we have noticed numerous concept designs online inspired by our products, which is a testament to their influence. Furthermore, we have observed a few established brands following the path we have trailblazed with our transparent design identity. This kind of enthusiasm to celebrate a design with new concepts happened early on to Apple with the iPhone, too, cementing the image of nothing as an iPhone challenger and transparent gadgets, including the most recent studio, Buds Plus from Apple's Beats brand, are all the rage. If you hadn't guessed that transparent design is continuing for nothing, Pay is clearly hinting this, and indeed the image above, confirms it. He's clear that the US market is important for the new phone. For our first smartphone, Phone 1, we took a focused approach by selectively launching in specific markets and regions. With Phone 1, we have seen encouraging results, being one of the smartphone brands with the highest percentage of users switching from an iPhone across quite a few markets. With the US being a very Apple-dominated market with no real option for people looking for an alternative, it represents a good opportunity for Phone 2. But what about the processor? We know that the Phone 2 will have the Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1. Why not the Gen 2? Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 is a proven processor. It has been thoroughly tested and continuously optimized through numerous updates since its introduction a year ago. We prioritize user experience over being first in the specs race. Also, the latest technology comes at a cost which isn't always justified from a user benefit standpoint. Choosing Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 ensures that Phone 2 remains accessible while delivering a significantly improved experience compared to Phone 1. Finally, I'm treated to two exclusive new details. The Nothing team revealed to me the size of the battery. It's going to have 4,700 mAh capacity, which is an increase on the 4,500 mAh cell in Phone 1. This is also a lot bigger than the latest iPhone 14 Pro, 3,200 mAh, and even the iPhone 14 Pro Max, 4,323 mAh. Size isn't everything, we know, but combine this with the efficiency of that Snapdragon chip and it means, I'm told, an 80% overall performance improvement over phone, one, which is pretty mighty. The second exclusive refers to the date of the launch. Mark your calendars for July, so not long, and I'm told it will be a global release, that is, the US will have it as soon as other countries.